Hey everyone and welcome to another card tutorial. Today we're going to be making a card with two Stampin' Up! sets. One is Hey Chick and the other is Balloon Celebration. The little hen set was part of a free set you could get during Celebration so it's no longer available but you could still make this card using any animal. So first up I'm going to use some Versafine ink and my Stamp Perfect from Hampton Arts. I'm stamping on watercolor paper so I'm most likely going to need to stamp this image twice. So I'm just going to go ahead and ink that up and then close the door to stamp it. And I hope you don't mind that little bird graphic. It's covering a really bad glare on the window of the Stamp Perfect. So the inside of the hen didn't stamp that well, so I'm just going to ink this up again and apply pressure towards the center of the stamp. And then I'm just going to open the door and it is perfectly stamped. So next up I'm going to stamp the strings from the Balloon Celebration set. And I completely forgot to put the foam back inside my Stamp Perfect, but it's still going to stamp perfectly fine. So as soon as I have that positioned where I want it to go, I'm going to cover up the hen because I don't want some of those balloon strings to get onto her. And after I have it perfect, you just go ahead and press that down. And this is where I realized I forgot to put the foam back in. So I'm just going to ink it up one more time and press it down. Now I have a perfect image and the balloon strings are right where I want them. So next up I have some distress ink. I have picked raspberries, peacock feathers, and mustard seed. So I picked these colors not just because they're bright and cheerful, I also picked them because they blend really nice together. You know, the blue and the yellow will make green, the pink and the yellow will make orange, and the blue and the pink will make purple. And those all overlap and they look really nice together. So here I just went ahead and I put a mouse pad underneath my stamping just to get a little more coverage. And that little squeaking sound is me cleaning the stamp off on my absorber. So next I have my last little yellow balloon to stamp. And next up I want to add some water to these so I just have my aqua painter. So here I'm just going to go over each of the balloons and blend that distress ink. And I really want those colors to move and blend into each other. I think if I would have blended them right after I stamped them instead of stamped all of them, it might have, you know, blended a little better, but I still do like the outcome. These balloons definitely turned out more vibrant. So here you can see I'm getting a nice green shade, and I also have a nice orange going on, and a purple. I'm actually going to make the green and the purple a bit more intense. So as I'm blending this last balloon, I realize I want some of these colors to be more intense. So I just go ahead and get my clear block and I dab a little bit of ink onto it. And then I just pick that up with my water brush. And I just go ahead and just apply that straight onto my balloon. And this definitely gives a more intense color. So you can see here I really got that purple popping in those balloons. So next up I want to paint my little hen pink. And I'm just going to get a nice wash of pink down. I'm just going to have this in ultra fast forward here. Just cleaning up a little bit of mistakes with some water and a napkin. So as the pink watercolor dries I'm just going to be adding more to it until she is nice and bright. Next I'm going to add mustard seed to her tail, her wing, and her head. And her little comb up there is going to be pink. So as soon as she's dry I'm going to go ahead and add even more color to her body so she is nice and bright just like those balloons. So here I am adding even more Distress Ink, making her even more bright pink. And after this dries, I'm actually going to go back and add even more. That's going to happen off camera, but you will see the end results in just a moment. 
So there she is all nice and bright in the upper corner. And here I'm just going to be stamping the balloon outline. And this is the envelope. I want to have these kind of cascading down the right side. So I'm just going to be stamping each of these overlapping just a tiny bit. And I also want to stamp the inside of my card. So this is a little panel that I cut. It's four inches by five and a quarter. And these are also going to be cascading down but not overlapping. Then I'm just going to set that aside. And next up I want to stamp my sentiment. And look what I just did. I barely touched the paper and I made a mistake. So I'm going to make this mistake work with me. This is a sentiment from the Cheerful Critters stamp set from Stampin' Up. It says, let's party. And I almost got that perfectly on top of that little smudge, but it is good enough and it's hidden for the most part. And next up I'm going to stamp the Hey Chick sentiment that is in the Hey Chick stamp set. And that just goes right above, so it reads, Hey Chick, let's party. Pretty cute so far, I think. So next up I'm going to take this smash pen. It has glue on one side and a felt tip on the other. I don't have the Copic liners, so this is the closest I could get to having a matching ink color and a thinness of the pen. So first off, I'm going to draw a little loop around the hen's arm. And my little dog has allergies, I'm so sorry, he's sneezing in the background. So here we go, we're just going to draw these lines connecting to that little loop, like she's wearing them like a little bracelet. And you don't have to draw every single line, you just want to have enough so it looks like they gather there and tie off at her arm. And I realize I have a little gap so I want to fill that because it's a little bit too big, so I just take the very fine tip of this pen and just go right in that little white space. And then I'm just going to darken up that little loop just a little bit. I was getting a little lost there in that intense pink. So here is a close-up of what I did. So next up I have the Femme Frames from Mama Elephant dye and I just cut that off some bright pink cardstock that matches that distress ink perfectly. This cardstock is from Recollections. And I just used some glue there, that's just the Notch Quick Dry Adhesive. And I did have a little bit of it kind of ooze out the sides, so I'm just going to take a toothpick and scrape that off really quick. If you do it while it's still wet, there will be no residue of glue there. So this is my card base. It's just a 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper cut in half and scored at the 5.5 inch mark. So here I'm just going to use my ATG gun to apply some tape and that's what's going to adhere this to the inside of my card. And as I stuck this down, I realized that the inside of the card is not as lively as the outside. And I really wanted to jazz this up a bit, so I'm going to use the stars from that same stamp set. That first set of stars, I do have a small little ink mistake, which I'm going to cover with a gel pen. And the second set of stars didn't stamp all the way, so I'm going to use a pen to cover that up. You won't even be able to tell that happened. And here I'm using those little circles from that same stamp set. And this is really an experiment. I had no idea if this was going to turn out cute or ugly. But I went ahead and added some Copic markers to it, and I think it turned out pretty cute. Those are the colors I use right there. They coordinate really well with that Distress Ink. So here I'm going to take a yellow panel of Recollections cardstock, and I'm going to be using some foam tape to adhere the pink frame to that yellow cardstock. So I'm going to do that off frame, and I'll be right back. So I got all of my foam squares on the back of my cardstock there. I'm just giving it a little press and bend to make sure it's all nice and flat and then I apply that right to the yellow cardstock. And then next I'm going to take my Tombow Mono Multi Glue and you just need a little bit of this. It sticks really really well. Just put it along all the four edges here. And this yellow panel is the same size as my card base which is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So this card front will cover the entire front of my card base. And just go ahead and stand that upright and make sure all the edges are nice and even. So after that we have our finished card and here is a close-up look at the watercolor balloons and the little hen. And here's the inside of our card. I still need to fix those little ink splotches a little bit better than that. But anyways, that is the card. I also have my coordinating envelope here. I think this is a really fun set. Like how bright and cheery is that? It doesn't get any brighter. Let's bring on summer.
So I actually made another one of these. This is the first one I made and this is made with Stampin' Up! inks in Pink Pirouette, Pistachio Pudding, and Pool Party. I also use Gorgeous Grunge to do a little stamping with that Pink Pirouette. I colored the hen more realistically with Copic markers. And I really like the contrast between the bright and bold and the pastel and girly card. I also added some Copic marker underneath the watercolored hen just so she has a little something to stand on. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it gave you some ideas of what you could do with both of these stamp sets. And of course you could put any animal standing down there holding those balloons. I think it would be adorable. So as always have a wonderful day and I will see you again soon. Bye!